What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're back at hunting camp. You see this little crossing right here? If you follow along very much, a video I did a couple months ago, a crawfish, wild hog, and deer video, you saw this spot right here. We put crawfish traps. Back then it was about this deep. So it would have been about two and a half, three, four foot deep out here. Look, step out in that deep spot, watch for gators and show them how deep it is now. Well, you can see on redneck, it's not very deep. But right up here, there's actually one deep hole left. And I want to put the crawfish traps in it and see what's in this. Because as far as you can see that away, and as far as you can see that away is a swamp that once was all full of water. And this is all that's left. I feel this water. Is it cold? Oh, whoa, that's freezing down there. Let's go get the traps and put them in there. Now we have my girlfriend Crystal with us. She's in another spot hunting for hogs. And we have Jake and his good friend Madison. And they're actually in one of my double bull blinds, which if you don't own a double bull blind and you hunt and you have kids, you're missing out. Their new blinds that they have have camo that you can see out of, but you can't see into. It's amazing. So I have them at a feeder on varmint control. They're hunting squirrels, coons. They're hunting something for dinner. So we're going with canned food, both wet and dry. All right, Luke, come here. If you don't know, that's my little dog, Redneck, right there. And his favorite thing in the world to do is run in front of the side by side. He loves hunting camp. Don't you, Redneck? Luke, who named Redneck, Redneck? It's probably because he has the collar on. <laughs> like the red collar. Do what? No, your brother Jake named him. Jake named Redneck. So a little backstory, Redneck and Luke are two weeks apart. They're both, they both will be eight in April. So when Jake was four, he named Luke Tree Trunk before he was even born. And then once we got Redneck, he named him Redneck. And Tree Trunk stuck with Luke for a long time. Until he was like three, nobody knew him of anything other than Tree Trunk. Here, tote this one too. All right, let's go. Go out there and pick you a spot. This spot right here. Get it down to where just one corner is sticking up. Keep going, keep going. Right there, that's perfect. Because we do catch a lot of eels, you need to make sure your trap has to where they can come up and breathe. And that's enough right there. It just needs to be a little bit. Put it in, take the lid, this little rubber band, and it's fishing. That's all you gotta do, right there. Look at that spider. We need to get out there in the deep, Luke. Now, if you guys watched, last about three days ago a woman an 85 year old woman in florida got snatched by an alligator and it actually ended up killing her she passed away in this little spot there could be a gator but i know there's not i looked before we got here the reason i use this canned food is it's full of oil and oil will move around really easily and anything that's in here will smell it and want to come to it just like that now luke we need to Prop this one up. That's enough right there. See? Right here? That's all the air you need. I found out the hard way that if you don't leave it up just a little bit, you'll kill the eels, and that's not what we're after. Even though, if the kids don't get any kind of squirrels or possums or coons, we'll be eating eel for dinner tonight. No, no. What? They might be eating like dirt and stuff. Well, you'll eat an eel. I know you will. I think right over here. Oh yeah, it's deep. Right here. Look at this old little like. Yeah, right here, Luke. I know we're gonna catch something cool right here. Why don't you wear shoes when we're out here? I don't know. I just don't like my shoes to get dirty. The kid just said he doesn't like to get his shoes dirty. I've heard it all now. On these traps, I do have string attached to them and that's for if I'm putting them out somewhere where I don't want to lose them. I actually want to wiggle that one in there a little bit. Just like that. We got one more. We're going to put it right over there. The only thing that I'm hoping doesn't happen is a coon come by here and... Son, you just... It's ankle deep and you're swimming. You're being dramatic, redneck. It's not even... Look, people, it's shin deep and my dog's swimming. Yes, you do. It's right there, Luke. In the water. You already put it in the water. So I'm really hoping a coon doesn't grab one of these traps and drag it off. I don't have anything to stake them down with. You can see where the hog's been coming through here like crazy. Come on. Yes. 
just just enough right there perfect here can you open that there you go now turn it away from you and pull it up spin it around like this i use your finger as a pry bar and pull it pull i can't do it it just hurts my phone you got to use leverage just like that all right we're all set look at this hog trail though it's not full of hog tracks luke what do you think redneck would do to a hog oh first of all he would probably get killed by a hog yeah redneck could jump up and buy a bite a hog on his gonads and make him squeal son you yeah. want to go try to shoot a squirrel yeah what if we get a squirrel and Jake and Madison don't. No, we could just sit at camp and we'll, and if we see a squirrel, we just bam it out of the sky. Bam it out of the sky, huh? Well, basically trees are high and are in the sky. <laughs> so before we head back to camp to shoot this squirrel out of this high tree that he was just telling you guys about, I gotta ask you for a huge favor. If you could send one of my videos to a friend of yours that might not otherwise see it, and both of you subscribe, I think I'll hit a million very, very soon. And if you don't know why that's so important, I own all my own boats. I edit all my own videos and film them. And this is not a cheap game, you guys. I know a lot of people think that YouTube's this magical job that just pays you for nothing, but it actually takes a tremendous amount of work. I probably work on average 80 to 90 hours a week. I'm not complaining. I'm just asking you guys for a huge favor. Subscribe and send my video to one person in your phone that might not otherwise see it and you'd be doing me the biggest favor in the world. Y'all ready to see what we're gonna have for dinner? First we got some dessert, some cherry tomatoes, some fruit. Of course you got your Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew. Got some lemonade. Check out my gift that I got Crystal for Valentine's Day. Gator cooler with her name on it. Right here folks, we got some hogfish. Some trezo from a big bar that we killed. I actually killed this hogfish in North Carolina. If you want to know what a hogfish is, that's one right there. Some deer meat, some bar hog pork chops. We got all kinds of stuff, folks. We are ripped, rare, and ready to go. Some steaks, Luke's gathering firewood. Leave a comment below what you would cook. Hogfish, pork chops, deer cube steak, trezo, or steak. We just got done burning some trash off. You need to go get some palm fronds, and we need to cut some wood. Y'all wanna see something pretty bad? So this is our swamp buggy. We use them a lot here in South Florida and pretty much no two are the same. You just take a truck frame and build it however you want it. This is one of Trevor's. That tire's not looking so hot. Yep, it's all jacked up in there. But that's typical at the end of hunting season. We ride pretty much all of this stuff hard and put it up wet. It's just the name of the game. We'll drag it out after season completely ends. We actually are in between deer season and turkey season right now. So as soon as turkey season's over, that'll come out. We'll get it fixed and put it up until next deer season. We gotta go get some firewood. Oh, that tree over there. Yeah, that's a big one. All these trees you see knocked over are from Hurricane Ian. How big that tree is. Oh yeah, right up here is some good wood, Luke. Should be 
enough to get us through the night. There's a couple more pieces. Grab them and let's roll. So all that oak you just saw me cut is good burning wood, but it's not super hot and it's hard to get lit. This is fat light or not? Watch what this does. <laughs> right there will ruin a chainsaw blade all right get that axe and split this wood for me it's right behind you the big one lean against the tree redneck you might want a duck or bleed don't hit your toes son i don't want to have to cut this clip hard hard oh, get closer oh. hit it harder son hard put some meat behind it go getting close harder Oh, you almost got it. Gravity was like hard. Come on, everybody is rooting for you right now. There you go. You hit it one more good time, I think you'll split it. Hard. Oh, look at that. You got you a piece. There you go. All right, pick that up right here. Let's show them. Come on. Folks, watch this though. Watch how hot this piece gets. When that gets going, nothing's gonna stop it. Just like that. Luke, don't hit your toes. And we'll get some more of these pieces. Just stack right next to it. Now you can see we only used about a third of that lighter knot log and I piled the oak all the way around it. Look at that shooting out of there. The only thing that's burning right this second is light or not, but the rest of this will be burning soon. Son, that thing scares me to death. It's too short, you're gonna cut a toe off. Oh Lord, there you go. All right, bring me two of those little sticks. Bring me two of those little sticks you just got off. Let me show them. Let me hold this right here. Watch this. Luke, we just built us a bona fide fire. Yo, you see all that liquid? That's the sap, that's what makes it burn. And that will get super hot. There's nothing putting that fire out now. Should we cook dinner now before we go and pick them up or go pick them up and then cook dinner? We can cook dinner on the fire. No. You can't cook dinner on that fire. That is the one bad thing about light or not, you can't cook on it. It's really full of turpentine. You can cook on that oak and that oak will stay burning a lot longer than the light or not will. That light or not will burn off in probably two hours and the oaks will still be burning for six or eight hours. So you can do that. But if I was wanting to cook on this fire, I would have used one little sliver of light or not and all the rest oak. So that's a tip. If you do come across some, don't cook on it. You can cook on oak though. All right, so no trip to camp would be complete without Luke shooting a gun. So we got the target over there on that big oak stump, which is super soft wood. The bullet's not gonna ricochet. Completely safe. There's nothing back there but woods for miles. Do you think you can hit the target? Mm -hmm. Take your time, son. Aim small, miss small. Shoot at the red. All right, you're empty. Gun safe, put it on safety. In his defense, we haven't shot that gun in a long time, so I don't even know if it's on. I know it's shooting close, but not dead on. Luke, you did pretty good. Where were you aiming? Uh, just random. Man, you almost hit the red right there. Both of these look like they're holding Yeah, the they almost touch. Let me see like, I hit the wood. What'd it do? I see one hole right there. I think I see the bullet too. So now that Luke shot, I'm going to shoot. And these are my Primo's trigger sticks. You watch him shoot way down low. Now watch this. You just squeeze that trigger and they're set for you. Let's see. Come here and stand right behind me, Luke. Right about there. It's shooting way to the left. The first time I was shooting, I was aiming here, but was hitting all over here. Then I started aiming here and hit there. 
So it's a simple fix. We just gotta adjust the sight. All right, we're gonna sight this gun in. Give it some time because in about 30 minutes I need to go pick up Jake and Madison and Crystal and hopefully one of the three of them killed something for dinner. What'd you see, great white killer? I saw two owls and then I saw a big old bobcat. You didn't want to play with the bobcat? I think he wanted to play with me. He uh, was close. I don't he never saw me, but I sure as heck saw him. I don't blame you. Babe, I brought you a surprise. Do you see that? Do you know what that is? Fish. What kind? <laughs> Hogfish. A big one I speared myself. You did? Yeah, but first we got to cook this meat. So we're going to start with bar hog pork chops, a little bit of Everglades. And then we got a cut of meat here that I've never seen before. I got it at a meat market in Wachilla, Florida. Have no idea. It's beef, I do know that, but I don't know what part of the cow it comes from. Got our trusty little grill. Of course, we got some white rice. We've got some green beans and corn, and we're rocking. The boys are out there playing. I don't know what they're playing. Actually, boys and girls. One thing I don't like about this grill is it flames up so bad. I'm actually gonna turn this off and these two down. I'm so used to my pellet grill that this throws me off a little bit. So the other side we put Everglades, this side we're gonna put Lowry's. Smells good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Leave a comment below if you know what cuts these are. I think it's off the shoulder. Or maybe the ham, I don't know. Ham. Do they call a cow's butt his ham? What is no. it? Hindquarter? Yeah, maybe it's a hindquarter, I don't know. Man, that smells good. I'm cooking these first and the fish last because it won't take near as long. Redneck, what do you want for dinner? It was so funny, we were setting the traps and the water was only like shin deep and he had to swim across it. <laughs> he was straight swimming. I, I feel your pain, bud. <laughs> Short people problems. You have to learn how to adapt when you're little. Oh, this can be good. All right, this has been cooking long enough. I think we can start to fish. All right, look at this beautiful piece of fish. This is actually from like eight months ago. What Some Lowry's that? garlic salt, it's hogfish. Ew. No wonder why, it, I mean, ooh, no wonder why it's so white. Super good, that's fish. Here's the question I want to ask y'all. We set four traps in a puddle. What do y'all think will be in it? Uh, All that, some like eels. Shrimp. <laughs> Luke's been strong at saying it's gonna be eels. You I think that's the area maybe. where we got the eels. <laughs> Where we caught the so I'm just putting some straight butter down on this aluminum foil. I don't want to put the fish on the grill because it'll end up sticking and I won't, it'll break apart. It'll just be a mess. Just put it that way, folks. It'll be a mess. <laughs> now I'm going to turn this on and lay the fish on here. These pork chops are my favorite. Out of the three, those pork chops right there are my favorite for sure. She just said her favorite place to eat hogfish is in the Bahamas. Man, that right there looks something serious. I really wish I knew what cut it is though. It might be like the belly or the like brisket area. That could be. I don't know. I'm sure somebody in the comments will know though. Whatever it is, it's about done. So I'm gonna close this lid and give it a couple minutes. So the steak is done, and I already tried a little tidbit of it. First, I wanna add some lime. The fish isn't far from being done. I'm about to put a sauce on this fish that I promise you will be one of the best sauces you've ever tried. Right there. Unfortunately, I have no affiliation with them, so. You have like 15 bottles of this in the pantry. Well, you just wait till you try it. You'll have 16 of them when we're done. Luke, does that look good or what? 
it's good until it's fly flew into to my yeah. food. Folks, we got so <laughs> many bugs landing on our food, so she's going to try the hogfish. The bug, it flew into my food and then got stuck because this is sticky and then just died. But will you die if you eat it? No. <laughs> That sauce is good, isn't it? That sauce is amazing. amazing. Jake, you hungry? Very. I got some steak for you, don't worry. All right, we're gonna eat and we'll see y'all in the morning pulling the traps. What do you think, Luke? Why are you digging in your butt? Folks at home, I just woke these three up at, what, 9.15? Y'all said you were going to get up this morning to go squirrel hunting. This water is freezing. Anything in there? We got a crawdad. There's a crawdad in there? That just fell out. Dang, we didn't catch anything. That's crazy. We caught a crawdad. That crawdad just jumped out. Nothing. No, what on earth? This is sad. No, we had them all perfect. And we got an eel. Holding in the sun so we can see. He's a salamander. That's a good one too. He's got legs. He's a salamander. What's in that one? I can't believe we only caught one eel. No fish, no nothing. And this little puddle's full of fish. So right here I put a trail camera last night just to make sure no coons or anything like that came and got the traps. And I was expecting to see a lot more because of this game trail. For all y'all wondering what just happened to that footage that you were watching a minute ago where it started to get like stretched on one side, I have no idea. That GoPro right there, I filmed every video I've filmed for like the last two and a half years with that. And all of a sudden in this video, half the screen started stretching real bad. And especially when we got to that last trap with the eel in it. So I actually put that down and I picked my phone up. And then once that was done, we went over to the Peace River and was looking for shark's teeth where I ended up losing my cell phone, my driver's license, my credit cards, my bank cards, my business cards, everything. I lost it all in the river. Can't find it. We looked for it for like four hours. So it is what it is. I'm going to order a new GoPro. But before we end this video, I got to take it back to the kid's mom's house where we ended up turning the eel loose. And that's... I've caught a lot of those eels, but I've never caught one with legs and fingers like that. Not to that extent. That one had like full blown legs and fingers. Really creepy actually. And to end this video right now, I'm gonna show you some of Luke's favorite pets. They were just born. Oh, that's a feisty one. That one's mad at you. Pick us, pick the little spotted one up, Luke. She's mad at you. She's not mad. Hello. She's making Hello. a noise. What's their names? Have you named them yet? Uh, that one's looking like a mule deer. Like a, a mule deer? Hello. Like the spotted ones. Oh, that's a little male. That one will jump. And that on one's your a back. male too. This one will jump on your back. All right. You gonna behave while I'm gone? Mhm. Mm yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> 